ok ok Or Kiva, and it's so nice to walk around and just see the streets and the buildings. And the architecture is very cool, very nice. I really like the buildings. She's also a Belgian motor rider and I've been, I've been chasing her for two days. I drove more than almost 500 kilometers in order to catch up a little bit with her. And uh, normally she will be now in the city. Um, let's find the hotel. Oh, I'm sick of here and I'm. You want a sticker? It's a sticker. No, you don't want it. Oh. <laughs> you want a sticker? Sticker. Sticker. Okay. Good. I give you one more. Here you go. <laughs> a walking sticker. <laughs>
it's so freaking hot. Everything, I can barely touch it. It's 45 degrees. Ja, ligt nu al achterstand. Klaar? Ja. Heb je geen pijn gehad? Nee. Misschien je handschoenen voor de veiligheid te halen als je op die stenen valt? Ja, ik ga mijn handschoenen halen, maar ik moet er eerst wel op zijn. Ja. Ja. Oké. Okay. Het zijn wel veel losse stenen, hè? Ja, het is vrij uh, uh, verraderlijk. Mijn bed is oké. Okay. Wacht It is still 620 kilometers to go to Bishkek. We're only going to do like 50 today, so tomorrow will be a very long day to go to Bishkek to get my Indian visa. And then I will travel for two weeks around Kyrgyzstan. And hopefully by that time my rail truck will arrive in Tashkent. Finally again, 95. I was in Turkmenistan and Uzbekistan and often it was 80 and probably even way lower. Let's have a look if the 95 will be better. Playing some kind of a game with a dog, or I don't know how how it looks like, but it's uh, some kind of an animal. I'm, I'm not sure if it's even a fake or a real one. They are playing a catch and retreat with a um, a dead goat or a dead sheep, and they need to throw it into this basket. It's, this is like the goal. And there's two teams of, I think, each three or four people. It's really interesting. I think it's a, 
Some kind of a national game in Kyrgyzstan. I think it's finished. The game. I am leaving Bishkek and I'm going towards. Uh, ah, it's not on the road. It's, um, I'm going towards Izikul Lake. Let's go! Off to the lake. It's only uh, a small 250 kilometers. So it will be a nice trip. Now it's 45 degrees, but at the lake it's a very nice 25 degrees. So I think it will be perfect in the sun. And to sleep it will be even better. So let's go! Ayala, join the adventure. Well, that looks like a magic to me. Everybody has a choice. Kyrgyzstan, Kazakhstan. Kyrgyzstan, Kazakhstan. I am almost at the beginning of the easy cold lake. I'm getting excited. This is ridiculous. It's the 12th speed control that I've seen. It's really ridiculous. I'm on my way to uh, Isiku Lake, and apparently next to Isiku Lake there's a small salt lake, which has a lot, which has a lot of deposits, like some kind of a mud, and it should be good for your skin. So let's get a dermatological treat. Nice. There's Isiku Lake. Very cool. What a view. Well, I didn't expect this this little salt lake to be so uh, touristic. So I really don't uh, like this kind of stuff like this. So I'm just gonna head back and camp on a little bit less touristic place. This is Alam Ordo. It is a abandoned place which should have been uh, a place where young people could meet older people and they could talk about science and technology and I think it was around 10 or 15 years ago that it was built and Kyrgyzstan or the current leader of Kyrgyzstan was hoping to like enrich in the whole science thing and he was even hoping for a Nobel Prize for Kyrgyzstan but then everything like failed the whole project failed and now it's an abandoned place but it's very beautiful i'm going towards tozov pass i checked the motorcycle checked the oil so everything is getting okay the only thing i'm a little bit worried about is the suspension since i don't have dampening anymore so it's really loose at the back and wiggly hopefully it's, there's not too much of loose rocks because then it's really tricky to ride with it. So it is a very nice valley. The only sketchy thing is that like the, the sand of the track can suddenly become really loose. So then it is like all hands on deck. You need to control the bike again because you really don't expect it. But for the rest, I really like it. Here. This is 
very nice. Look at that. Beautiful. B E A beautiful. <laughs> I'm at Tosa Pass, it's 3874 meters, that's very nice, I really like it. Wow, nice, nice, nice. My rear shock is making really strange noises now. Uh, every time the spring is uh, like extending, it's making a harsh metal sound, so it's really not good. That would be fantastic, look at that. Well, we're gonna have to choose. Okay, this one. Oops. Fantastic. I come from there. 